In the last video, we used the view cube to change the view, and that's fine, and you can do that, and it's, uh, it's easy to do. You can see the view cube, you click on it, you know what to do. Uh, pretty intuitive, but actually more advanced users tend not to use the view cube that much. Instead, they tend to use a combination of keyboard and mouse clicks that uh, are shortcuts that let you move the, uh, the view around, let you rotate it, let you move it, let you uh, zoom in and out, actually dolly in and out, um, in a much more precise way than you ever could with the view cube. So uh, let's get to that. Now when you do this, the uh, cursor will actually change. If you hold down the Alt key and click the left mouse button, it turns into this, uh, this little arrow going around in a circle. And this is what we use for rotating the view. We'll do that in a second. And the middle mouse button, and uh, you know, if you don't think you have a middle mouse button, just push down on your scroll wheel and see what happens. You get this plus sign. This lets you uh, lets lets you pan the scene left and right, up and down. And then the right mouse button will give you this uh, arrow that's coming towards you and away from you. It uh, you know it's got that 3D perspective going on, and that lets you dolly into and out of the scene. Now there's a little bit difference. Uh, it's maybe a technical detail between dollying and zooming. Zooming is actually changing the uh, field of view of a camera lens where dolly is like moving a camera towards or away from an object. So it's, you know, it's a technical bit. You don't really need to worry about that a whole lot just yet. We will talk about it more in detail later. So that's it. Alt button, left, middle, right mouse button. And now let's use it. So Alt and left mouse and move the mouse. And it takes a little while to uh, get used to this. It's kind of uh, kind of an acquired skill to, to get this to rotate the view to just the way you want it. Uh, the pan here works uh, a little easier for as far as uh, understanding what's going on. The dolly here, and this works uh, moving the mouse left or right or up and down. Now we can also dolly by rotating the uh, scroll wheel here. So that's uh, it's actually a little faster. It's not quite as precise, but uh, probably more intuitive. So uh, that's how that works. We'll just click home here in the view cube to get us back to our original perspective view. And that's it for this video.